Hey guys, you're watching Kate Straight Up, and I am Caitlin, and I have an awesome recipe for you today that is perfect for Super Bowl and game day. We are going to make buffalo chicken bombs. You heard that correct? Little delicious bombs of buffalo chicken. They're fantastic. You're going to love them. They're easy to make. They only take five ingredients, and let's get started. So in my bowl here, I have about two cups of shredded chicken. I like to do the rotisserie chicken. If you actually get one of those chickens, you have enough for two of my recipes, this one and then a dip that's coming down the line. The rotisserie chicken is just the easiest way to do it, so grab it, dice it all up, and get ready to mix in your other ingredients. Then we're adding in 16 ounces of uh, cream cheese, and then just a few other ingredients. We have about a cup and a half of a cheddar cheese. Just dump that right in. And then it's time for your buffalo sauce. So my husband was gifted this. It's Blonde Beard's IPA buffalo sauce. It's absolutely delicious. And I am so excited to use it in this recipe. But whatever your favorite buffalo sauce is, just grab a cup of it and pour it in. So once we have our buffalo sauce in our bowl here. We're going to mix this all together because this is the filling of your bomb. So you're going to want your cream cheese to at least be room temperature, if not a little bit more melted. Um, that way you can mix it together really good and have even distribution when we start stuffing our little bombs over here. So after your buffalo chicken filling or dip, it kind of looks like a buffalo chicken dip. If you have any extra, you can use it as such. <laughs> you're going to roll out your pizza crust. This is just a Pillsbury thin crust pizza crust and I have a nice circular glass here that I'm going to just kind of cut in to make some circles. So once you have your piece of circular dough, you're going to take a teaspoon and put a nice little glob of buffalo chicken yumminess right in the center. Now you don't want to overfill them because you want them to actually be like a little bomb ball. So you want to have enough that you could close it up. So then you're going to just close it up like such and then add it to your tray. Let's do one more here together because you're just gonna repeat that until all of your dough is used up. Again, you don't wanna overstuff. I know it might be tempting because it looks delicious and who doesn't want all that yummy buffalo stuff, but you have to refrain because you want these to be nice little kind of like bite-sized balls. So just to give you an idea of how much you're going to have in this recipe, one of the Pillsbury Thin Crust Pizza Doughs makes about 15 bombs. The measurements that I use in the mixture is enough to use two pizza doughs, possibly even a little more, or just have a little bit of extra buffalo chicken. Once they're all rolled up, they're going to go in a 425 degree oven for about 10 minutes. You know they're done when the dough is nice and golden, and you can scoop them right off the tray. And after that, you have yourself delicious buffalo chicken bombs. I like to put mine on a plate, throw a little crumbled blue cheese right over top with a little bit of green onion and chive. It is delicious. It's my husband's favorite. You know he's my buffalo boy. <laughs> and uh, that's why I'm always coming up with new ways to use delicious buffalo chicken in my recipes. Make sure to subscribe to Kate Straight Up for more recipes like this one. Have an amazing Super Bowl and football playoffs. I hope you have all the yummy food that is available for those fun Sundays. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.